to create an animated GIF that has four fruit images that appear and blink. All right. So first we're going to use the images folder that I've shared with you, which has a blank image, then an apple, apple pear, plus an orange, plus um, another apple. Okay, so that's the folder we have of images. And then we're going to go to Photoshop and go to File, um, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. And then we're going to Browse and look for that folder. So here I have those images. And I'm going to select the first one, hold Shift, select the last one, and then click Open. All right, now I'm going to say OK to confirm that I want to load these images into the stack. So you should see the timeline here in the bottom of the um, Photoshop window. And now I'll have to go to Create frame, in frame Animation. And you should see something that looks like this. So right now we just have that white image, the Fruit 1 photo, on top. And you also will see just below that that there's um, a button with some horizontal lines and one vertical line, and that actually will then display the full timeline. And you'll notice here too there's a zoom with a small mountain and a big mountain. So if you want to zoom into the timeline, you can do that using this scale bar right here. All right, so by default, Photoshop will load each image on its own line, but since we're, my plan is just to do one image after another, I'm actually going to put these all on the same line here. So one, two, three, four, five. And since I want to blink it, I'm actually going to load in a few more images. So you can actually use a plus sign um, at, the, at the right end of the timeline. And I'm going to add in another blank. Let's see if I, yeah, another blank one and then another complete set of fruit. Okay. So if we hit, if you use the playhead, the blue um, marker with the red line, you hit space and you watch where the playhead is, it's going to sequence through the images. Although right now it's not doing anything because, or you're not seeing anything because that image frame is really long. So now it's about to go to the second image and that'll take a while. So if you hit space again, it will stop the playhead. But what we really wanna do is make this anim animation much faster. And so we can select each image and then uh, click the right side and just drag it down and you'll see that we, there's a pop-up. So let's say we, maybe we wanted to have um, 17 milliseconds. Let's bring this one down to also 17 milliseconds. Alright, um, you can adjust these as you'd like. I'm just going to make them all about 17. And then just keep doing that. And make the blink faster, so maybe this is 10 seconds, and then it comes back for another 17 seconds. All right, so let's move the playhead to the beginning, hit space to run, and now we'll see a much faster animation of the image sequence. All right, so now we've confirmed that the image work, the animation works as we like, so now we have to save it. Now go to File, Save for Web. And if it's not already selected from that second drop down, make sure you have GIF selected. So I already have that here. Um, so you might have something else selected, but make sure that this drop down is, select, is selecting GIF. And then this one should also be selecting adaptive. So I already have that by default. And then if you want your animation to loop, so you want it to go continuously, then you can go to the looping options here which by default is set to once, but if you select forever, then it'll just constantly loop and it'll go through the sequence over and over again. So I'm gonna select forever, so it continues forever. And if you look here, you'll see that our GIF is 133 kilobytes. It's actually not that large, but we don't need, at least for the purposes of maybe putting this somewhere on the sidebar of a website, we don't need something as big as 2480 um, pixels wide and high. So I might change this to say, let's say about 800 pixels. And when we update the image size here, you'll also notice that the file size will change once the image size 
has changed. So now our GIF is only 61 kilobytes. So that's pretty good. All right, so now you can hit save. Um, we're going to save it as animatedfruit.gif. And we're going to replace what I already had, had there. And and there we go. Now we have an animated GIF. And this you can embed in your website just like any other image.